Back to your get ready forecast with meteorologist Robert Sir here with me tonight. Uh, Robert, definitely feeling like the first day of summer, and I believe that will continue. Oh, in a big way. Yes, absolutely. Especially by this weekend, it's going to feel like Phoenix outside oh, with the uh, heat and humidity. Well, not so much. Phoenix doesn't get a lot of humidity, but it'll definitely be hot for the entire area this week, this weekend. Now, today was a little bit cooler than it has been. As we show you, Fayetteville was 89 today in Fayetteville, three degrees above your average, which is 86. Thankfully, though, well shy, 10 degrees shy of that record high set today in 1953 of 99. Meanwhile, in Fort Smith, things are also very pleasant on this Wednesday evening, 92 today, right around average. You were a degree above for both your daytime high and your morning low. Ooh, 105 in 1936. They can take that. Uh, that's a terribly hot day. Now, as we take a quick peek at the weekend, that heat is going to continue to establish itself and really build in. A front is going to try to push through, maybe sparking some showers Saturday night. Better chance would probably be Sunday night for those showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. But the heat index as the humidity increases will definitely be noticeable. That's what it feels like outside could eclipse in some locations, especially in the River Valley, 110 degrees. You can see air temperatures over the next five days uh, into the 90s in Northwest Arkansas. Weekend, we'll see heat indices 100 to 105 most likely. Overnight lows not too bad, not getting into that oppressive category. River Valley flirting with 100 degrees. It would not surprise me. One or two locations do reach the century mark. Uh, for their actual air temperature, but he, the heat indices uh, it, it just makes it feel and it becomes that much more dangerous when you're outside for an extended period of time. Still in the mid to upper 70s across northwest Arkansas, that stubborn cloud cover is what's keeping things uh, warm at this hour still. Uh, 85 in Boonville, 84 in Greenwood. It is toasty uh, in the River Valley. Here is that little bit of moisture that's trying to hang on across southeast Kansas that may, might clip northwest Arkansas. Meanwhile, all sorts of big storms, a very dangerous situation in uh, the northern panhandle of Texas with this confirmed tornado. I've seen some social media images, a big wedge tornado just tore through some towns in the panhandle of Texas. Tonight will be relatively quiet. I think the mod models are overdoing this a little bit of precipitation sliding through northwest Arkansas and the River Valley while most of us are asleep. Could be some wet sidewalks in the morning. Rest of Thursday looks good with a nice mix of clouds and sunshine and waking up Friday morning also looks to be on the quiet side. Average lows tonight, 60s and lower 70s, slightly below average highs tomorrow by a degree or two across the region. And then the heat turns up. We crank the broiler up this weekend into the 90s with those scattered shower chances. Sunshine, though, next week as well in northwest Arkansas River Valley. As I said, uh, some places could hit 100 degrees. Make sure you're safe. You're outside this weekend. Protect yourself and uh, drink lots of water if you have to be outside for an extended period of time. Meredith Mulkey, she's got your sports news. That's coming up right after the break.